We are at Joshua Tree National Park. Yes. The only reason we stopped in this area, really. <laughs> I mean, there's other stuff to do around here, but this was the main purpose for stopping in this area. Yes. Um, I haven't seen any Joshua trees yet. We drove, we're about a half hour, our campground's about a half hour from here. And uh, I was actually looking for Joshua trees on the way. I figured as you get closer to Joshua tree, you would, you would start seeing more Joshua trees. Uh, but I guess they're all in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On the outside, you only see palm trees. Yeah, we're at the south entrance, which is down by Palm Desert, Palm uh, Springs, California area. Yeah. I think all the cool stuff's on the west entrance. Yes. <laughs> well, all the cool it stuff. Sounds that, like it. Is. All the stuff that on the internet that says you are must sees mm -hmm. are up there. Yeah. Which is about another hour plus drive after you enter the south entrance yeah. to get up to the cool stuff, or you can go around about an hour and a half drive to get to the west entrance and then get in there. So, I don't know how much cool stuff we're gonna see down here on the south entrance. So we may have to come back another day. Or suck it up and just drive through it. Or just drive through it today. Oh, we just came in the entrance. We are here. And all the cool stuff is <laughs> way up here. So we got a ways to go. It's gonna be probably 20 or 30 miles to get up to the cool stuff. Then we get up to the cool stuff, uh, we might as well come back out this gate and then come back down here because down here is where our campground is at. So we just are probably just gonna do a big loop today. They look harmless from a distance. Yeah, they look cute and like fuzzy. Watch out for your leg. Yeah. If you touch this, you'll have pricklies all over you. They're very sharp. Yeah. Once you can actually look at it. Uh huh. That and they would bloom. Hurt. Oh, it looks like they bloom flowers yeah. at some point. But this is like a quarter mile loop all through the cactus, and they're beautiful. It is. And they don't look that big when you're driving. But when you get out here, yeah. you can see I'm six foot tall. It's a little taller. It's a little taller than me. Yeah. And uh, there's ones that are even taller, taller than this. Taller out there, yeah. There's ones out here that look probably, I don't know, 10, it's 12 a, feet tall. It's amazing. This many cactus all clustered it is. together. about 30 miles in yeah to the park and finally saw some <laughs> Joshua Gosh, trees yeah. had to get 30 miles into Joshua Tree National Park yeah. to see Joshua trees well, from our entrance yeah and I don't know if it says in the thing why are they called Joshua trees uh, I don't know I I, I don't know not who this that Joshua yet. fella is <laughs> and why he's so popular I don't know why <laughs> they can't be called Dustin trees oh, why can't it be Dustin Tree National Park. Doesn't roll off the tongue. It sounds better to me. <laughs> well, split Rock. Yeah. I wonder why they call it Split Rock. <laughs> Maybe because it's split. <laughs> you think? It's beautiful out here. Gorgeous. These rocks are ginormous. Yes, and I did read on the map because they explain. Chipmunk. Did he come back out? Yep. He's back. Let's see if I can get him.
Oh, sorry, we squirreled. Yeah. Oh, we chipmunked. Oh, we chipmunked. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying, you read? Oh, about how these rocks are like this. Okay. That uh, volcanic uh, action is what caused it. So the magma forcing its way up okay. hit solid rock, Push but it still up. kept forces. So that's why everything's in like these, it's just weird formations and stuff. Yeah, and they're chunks everywhere. It forced its way up and hit through rock and started splitting it. Oh. Huh. That's how this guy got split, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. But that's for all the rock is all caused by magma Very forcing cool. its way out. I'm hungry. <laughs> all right. History lesson over. Well, give me an appetite. Over. Give me an appetite. <laughs> Learning about volcanic activity okay. made me hungry. There's mm -hmm. <laughs> another chipmunk. <laughs> Well, we just finished up at Split Rock, and it's lunchtime. Lunchables. Swift. It's like our go-to. Yeah. For hiking and stuff. It's just easier to throw in the cooler bag. Like Capri Sun. Capri Sun. Heck yeah. Yeah. Um, from here, we are still headed up like northwest. Yeah. Toward all the rest of the cool stuff. Supposedly, there is a really great view. Called what? Keys view? Key view. Key view. I don't know. It's supposed to be the best view in the park. So better be. Yeah, we have to go <laughs> way out of our way to get to it. So it better be worth it. I'm but sure it is. I'm sure it is too. So so far, um, the only wildlife we've seen is the chipmunks. <laughs> They're so cute though. <laughs> and so around it. the uh, the bathroom area, there's lots of flies. <laughs> but other than that. I didn't film the flies. I figured you wouldn't want to see the flies. I figured everybody's kind of seen flies. The fly thing's been done. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna eat our Lunchables and go to Key View. Maybe hit a couple of things along the way. Skull Rock. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious what that is. Yeah, because Split Rock was very self-explanatory. Yeah, it is split. So I'm wondering if Skull Rock looks like a skull. We saw the skull rock, and Leslie's not a fan. Well, I mean, you had to use your imagination a little bit for that to be a skull. Abstract skull it rock. It was very abstract. And we saw lots of jumbo rocks. Yes. And now we're at the Hall of Horrors. And we don't know what that means. No, there is not a placard. No explanation. Why this massive area is called the Hall of Horrors. So I'll have to look that up. Yeah, once we get reception, we're in the we're like smack in the middle of the national park now, and obviously there's no reception in the middle of a national park. Yeah, but uh, we will and, look and it the up. The map for this park doesn't explain any of it. No, it shows you where it is, but you would think they would have like thing a with a little number and tell you a little bit about it. No. Yeah, but there's nothing. There's doesn't do it. So, no explanation anyway, for any of it. This is the Hall of Horrors, <laughs> and if we'll we run try across, to find out why. If we run across anything super scary, <laughs> we'll show it to you. <laughs> It's cooler up here for sure. I am freezing up yeah. here. But you can see um, 
big Mount San Jacinto there. You can see Palm yeah. Springs down there. Yeah. You can see the Salt, the Salt sea, sea way over there. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can see a ton from up here. So very beautiful. A um, little bit out of the way. This is the furthest point out that we have to go yeah. in Joshua Tree. But worth, worth the drive it. up here to yeah. see it's gorgeous up Key there. View. Yeah. Awesome. Love it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's and it and the the camera's not gonna do it any justice. Not at all. It's just it's a wow. It's a wow. <laughs> wow. That's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> Well, we are leaving <laughs> Joshua Tree National Park. Yeah, <laughs> you are correct. It was it was really cool. Yeah. Uh, lots to see, uh, mostly scenic stuff. We didn't get to see a lot of yeah. wildlife. It's but a different national park than what we've it is. seen. And we were here for like four hours or so. Yeah. Just kicking through here. Lots four of, hours. And we just, it's just because it's big, man. Yeah. It's a lot of ground to cover. It. So um, I have some some picture taking tips. For if you come to Joshua Tree, you want to take some great pictures. Yeah. Here's how you do it: take your camera, point it in any direction, and push the button. <laughs> I'll take your questions. Okay. <laughs> it really is that well, way. It is, yeah. I mean, you everything point is beautiful. Every direction, no matter what you point your camera at, everything it's be a great shot. is a yeah. It's a great shot. Um, so the rock formations just blow my mind. Yeah, and I know the camera is not going to show as big and massive and awesome as they are, but they yeah. really are. So if you get a chance to come it's through incredible. here, definitely, definitely do it. Yeah. It's worth coming out for. It's like 30 bucks a car to get in, unless, unless you have you a have National pass. Parks Pass. So we got in for free. So a free day for us. Yep. A few hours. Uh, we couldn't show you everything, obviously. There's just too much to show. And well, after, uh, after so long, it all starts to look the same. It does all start to look the same. It's massive formations everywhere and, and trees everywhere. Yeah, I was complaining <laughs> about the lack of Joshua trees when we first came in, the south entrance. Well, you come up toward the west. Once we got halfway between the uh, west gate and... Um, the key view? The key, yeah, yeah, that's where... Just nothing but Joshua trees. Yeah. So now I understand why the park has its name, <laughs> Joshua Tree National Park. But I still think it should be Dustin Tree National Park. I know you. Just can. saying. <laughs> anyway, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor yeah. a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. And we appreciate you watching. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>